In this video, I want to show you how to tighten up the stitch just after a cable stitch. This is the same phenomena that happens when you're knitting in ribbing, going from knit to purl stitch. The reason for it is because the purl stitch is much looser because it uses more yarn than the knit stitch. For instance, with a typical purl stitch, when you knit, it wraps all the way around the needle like that. So it's, it's, it uses a great deal of yarn. However, in order to tighten it up, what you want to do is use less yarn. So what we're going to do is wrap it the other way. So you can see it uses a fraction of the yarn. So let me show that again. Instead of going over the needle, like a typical purl stitch, we're going to go under the needle and then continue on as normal. I usually do it for one, maybe two stitches directly after a cable, or if I'm working in ribbing, I'll do usually all my purl stitches using that. Now, the problem that it can give you if you're not used to reading your knitting is when you come back to work it on the next row, it's going to have your stitch mounted backwards. So I'll work the first stitch here, then the next one you can see it's mounted backwards. So this should be the front leg of my stitch, so I'm going to knit into the front leg of my stitch, which will correctly mount it and will prevent my stitch from becoming twisted. And then I'll just continue working the rest of my stitches as normal. So that is one of the most successful ways I've discovered to tighten up my cable stitches and my ribbon.